All right, welcome to our daily recap. Okay, so today we have Empire Manufacturing Index just came out as bullish. Okay, overall, let's get jumping on this. We got around 30 minutes until market opens. These are all time highs on ES, right? If we look over here, let's see, previous all time highs were right here. These are now current all time highs. And we've kind of been playing within this consolidation. I would really hate for the daily to start chopping again because that's usually when I lose the most amount of money and end up being a break even or a losing trader is when we're consolidating within the markets. When we're trending, I fucking kill it. But when we're consolidating, not much happens. Okay, right now, currently, we pushed up into this four hour fair value gap. I don't even need a market. You guys can just eyeball it from this wick down to here, right? You can also see that we are above the equilibrium level on the four hour time frame. So I think that we are going to probably try to seek out some of these lows after sweeping out either this high or the current high that we just made. Again, we still have 26 minutes. Who knows if we come back up, if we come up here during pre-market, during market open, who knows? Okay, but that's just what I would like. I would like a sweep of this, either the current high that we have right now or this high, fill in of this hourly fair value gap, a little bit more, which it looks like it's kind of rushing up to go do. And then from there, I would like to see a sell off down towards our sell side liquidity. Okay, if that doesn't end up happening, if we just get straight bowls and rips, you know, off of this, then I'll have to reevaluate and find probably a smaller time frame retracement or entry based off of like a fair value gap some sort of continuation type of entry so I can be able to cash this wave all the way up to these highs, these highs, these highs, this high, this high, this high, and then all time highs all the way up here. Okay, but for the time being, what I would like would just be a sweep of these. I know we took out previous days low with this and we're starting to get reactions off of it, but I do think that there's, you know, still a little bit of room to the downside for us to come down and take out this low or this low. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I see for the S&P. We can go ahead and jump into NASDAQ now. Um, I'm pretty bearish on this pair coming into today. We had a super sharp sell off after literally making it fucking impossible for price to break through this price range. We're coming back up to revisit the price range. It just depends on if price wants to, you know, react off of price range that was held really, really strong in the past, or if it just wants to blow right through it. Okay. Anyways, on to NASDAQ, NASDAQ, smoking on a gas bag. Okay. We have all time of highs all the way up here. On the daily time frame, we're looking pretty normal. On the four hour, I marked out some random ass lows from yesterday. We were within consolidation, very similar situation with the S&P. We're now coming into, boom, this four hour fair value gap after pretty much having this price range being really, really difficult for price to break. We hovered around this area until we got that big leg down. So now what did we make? Fair value gap within here. Hopefully we can find reasoning to be able to short off of this. We just came through and actually swept out these highs. So that's something to keep in mind and we're starting to fill in this hourly fair value gap right now. Okay, so really what I'll be looking for come market open will be again, similarly with the S&P, we'll probably be looking for a sweep of these highs, a fill of this fair value gap, a fill of this fair value gap, and then send price lower. And we'll find confluence on that on lower time frames. So really all we're doing now is just waiting for that 30 minute uh, mark to hit and then we can start looking for entries um, in terms of sell side. Liquidity, I'm just going to do it based off these hourly lows with this hourly low. This hourly low, this big CPI sweep wick and then who knows if we want to go any further from there. But for the time being, that is what I see in the four hour again chop 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 got a big break who knows again this is very similar to the s&p where if we end up pushing all the way above this area 
and then end up making a fair value gap on a lower time frame. Boom, I'll have to find a continuation so we can seek out these highs, these highs, these highs, and these highs. But for the time being, we just, boom, big flood to the downside. We're coming up. We're sweeping liquidity. It does look like this is a pretty good sell-off type of day. Um, that's just my bias. Okay, hopefully you guys can use this to your advantage. Just marked out a bunch of building blocks that can hopefully help fuel your own biases. Um, and hopefully this helps you guys out with your trades every single day. Um, if it doesn't, let me know and uh, we can try and change that because, again, the whole goal during 2024 is to give you guys as much free information as possible to help you guys succeed. So with that being said, I'm going to upload this. You guys have got around 20 minutes until market opens to be able to watch this five or six minute video to be able to help improve your trading, improve your bias whatever that may be. All right. I appreciate you guys. I will see you guys for the market recap tonight. All right. Peace.